Our next film is called The Running Man, and the man on the run in this film for his life is Arnold Schwarzenegger. The film is set in the 21st century, and Schwarzenegger, a former cop with a rebel past, finds himself a participant in the sickest part of this new totalitarian state. It's always lousy in the future in the movies. I guess that is an effort to make us feel good about paying, you know, the five or six bucks to see the film today, <laughs> where it's so much fun. At any rate, in this future society, there is a violent game show where criminals are forced to run for their lives against powerful warriors who always make their kill. Schwarzenegger is eventually forced to compete, of course. The game show host is Richard Dawson from TV's Family Feud. On your marks! Get set! Killian, I'll be back. Only in a rerun. Go! Yes, they want us to stay. And the romantic angle in the film involves Maria Conchita Alonso as a worker for the TV network who gets into her own fight for life after unknowingly helping Arnold. You think I'm helping you out to even think I'm your girlfriend? You can straighten that out. See this camera up there? I can strangle you for the home audience. Another relay. Quick. It's right here. Weiss. What are you talking about? Weiss, over here, over here. Yes, there certainly is a lot of action in this film, but it is redundant and turned me off. I mean, once you go down the tube, that's kind of neat, especially the way that makes the turn. But then over and over, it got a little boring. The killers are not all that spectacular, and this surprised me, particularly former football player turned actor Jim Brown. He's really boring as Fireball, a guy with a flamethrower, and that's all he's got. A uh, flamethrower, you know, yeah, some spray paint in his hair. And yes, I'm afraid I'm getting tired even now of Arnold Schwarzenegger with his cute throwaway lines during unending fights. I was not excited by The Running Man. I wasn't excited either. I agree with you that the villains were not really set up into really interesting individual characters, but they were just kind of like, you know, targets in an arcade game. Mm, yeah. There is one element of this film that is excellent, and that is the entire backstage detail of the game show is hosted by Richard Dawson. Oh, I and would... his performance is fascinating. He seems about half-crocked all the time, <laughs> always smoking that king-size cigarette, talking about his ratings. Uh, he's playing with human lives, and all he really cares about is the adulation of those faceless masses who right. cheer him on. Right. And I think that that performance, if you took it out of the movie and just looked at it individually, is as interesting in its way as an indictment uh, of television as network was. Well, I think that he is good in the film, very well cast. Mm -hmm. He always had that sort of sinister side to yeah. him, even uh -huh. when he kissed uh -huh. the ladies. We yeah. knew that uh -huh. he was sort of a little bit strange, or at least he knew he was being very manipulative. Yeah. And so he is well cast, but the film does not work.